Now to new hope for those suffering from hair loss. More than 56 million Americans are affected and about 40% of them are women. A new treatment that does not involve surgery or drugs could bring big results. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has more. It's all over your TV. Tina Fey, Zoe Deschanel, Selena Gomez, all rocking the most beautiful hair. I can love my hair longer. But the reality is not everyone has such luscious hair. Women who are losing their hair are all day long thinking about the hair loss. It's devastating to them. That's why many people are talking about PRP, or platelet-rich plasma therapy, the research preliminary but promising. It uses no surgery, no drugs, and no expensive ointments and starts at $400 a session. Here's how doctors who use it explain it. First, you draw the blood. Next, a machine separates the platelets filled with growth factors. Then, those platelets are injected into the scalp to one, stimulate new hair growth, two, decrease hair loss, and three, make the hair grow thicker. While producing the PRP is FDA approved, the procedure is not. You are injecting the scalp so you can get bruising, a little swelling, you can get a little collection of blood. After Chantel JC had her son, her hair took a dramatic shift. It was very embarrassing. I had to work it so you won't see the bald spot. So as I'm moving the hair around, I'm like, oh my God. But after just two months of treatment, Chantel says she started to see a big change. It was very lush, it was very beautiful. I mean, you have beautiful hair now. Yes, I do. <laughs> and for Michelle Lowe, having two children changed her thick hair into brittle, thin hair. It just didn't have the fullness that I was used to. It was getting kind of stringy looking. But after just two treatments, Michelle says she got her thickness back. It's probably the best thing I've ever done for myself. For Good Morning America, Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. We know men have this issue, but many were not aware of 40% of those who were losing their hair are women. ABC News Chief Women's Health Correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is going to take some questions, and we have some great ones here yes. about, about hair loss. First up, Kim on Twitter, uh, Twitter, she says, why am I a 55-year-old woman balding like a man? Same pattern, no hair at top feel so bad. And this is really one of the dirty little secrets about perimenopause that doesn't get spoken about. And you can see this in women as start early as their 40s. It all has to do with changing hormone levels. Mm. So if you look at this, most people know all hormones change as we go through menopause. Estrogen drops, progesterone drops. That can affect hair blood flow to the scalp. But testosterone also drops. But relative to estrogen, it seems to go up. So that's where you get those male pattern symptoms, thinning hair, hair loss, acne, the occasional chest, chest, uh, chin hair, not fun. No one really talks about this aspect of no it. No one talks yeah. about it. All right, so now we have on Facebook a video from Ruth. Here's what she had to ask. Hi, Dr. Ashton. I'm thinking of getting PRP, and I was wondering how long before you see results? Mm. Such a great question, and it really depends on whether you're using PRP to treat thinning hair or hair loss, and it has to do with the life cycle of the hair follicle. So let me show you what I mean. Okay. There are three basic stages. The first one, anagen. This is really the active phase. Most of the hairs on our head are in this stage, and it lasts between two and six years. Then it goes into a stage called catagen, which is really the transition, lasts for about two weeks. And then finally, telogen. This is really the resting phase, which can last for about two months. So when you do PRP, it might take you two to six months to start to see the results. I did this myself. I think we have a before oh, and after okay. picture. Oh, right here. Right. I mean, that was about a six-month time period, wow. and you see it's dramatic. And by the way, again, because of cost, some doctors charging $1,500, $2,000 per treatment. Wow. Dr. Rappaport in our piece in New Jersey, mm -hmm. about four or 500 a treatment. I didn't even know that you'd gone through that. Wow. It was that was very impressive mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me. I got right. a great result. Right. And we have another question. This one comes from Pauline on Twitter who writes, other than Rogaine, mm -hmm. is there something else? What shampoo is the best for thinning hair? So tons of treatments, and they don't all have to cost a lot of money, but there's anything with minoxidil in it over the counter. There are prescription medications that block the hormonal effects, biotin supplements, behavioral changes, Robin. Mm. Just rest your hair. Don't expose it to heat, color, process. There's a light cap, and then there are good shampoos. There's a shampoo called Karanique, which really thickens the hair, very effective. So it's all about options. Yeah, and it's a very emotional issue oh, for men so and women. Emotional. Yeah. I'm right. glad we covered it. Okay, thank you, Jen.